Hi, my name's Leo Lapworth and I'd like to show you how to install Strawberry Pearl onto Windows. So first we need to go to strawberrypearl.com, use the download link. So here we're downloading version 5.12.2. If you click on that link, you're then asked whether to run or save the file. Here we're going to save it and we're going to save it to the desktop. Now that's quite a large file, it's 40 megs. So I'm going to speed through that downloading. OK, now that's done. We can close the browser and on the desktop we've got our MSI installation file. If you double click that, then confirm that you want to run it. we'll see we're into a standard Windows setup wizard. So if we click on Next, confirm the licensing, again click on Next. Here we can see that the default is to install it on the C drive into a folder called Strawberry. You can of course change this, but we'll leave it as standard for now. Click Next and then the Install button. OK, I'm going to speed through this as well. You may see this pop up. Don't worry about it, just click on Don't Send. It was to do with how the system's packaged. And once that's finished, we're all done. So having clicked on Finish, the final step is to restart. Or you could log on and log off. I actually prefer to do a full restart. So I'm going to choose Restart from the menu here and I'll see you on the other side. OK, welcome back. So we now want to make sure that Perl's actually been installed correctly. To do this, we go down to the Start button. If you click on that, we can see here that we have Perl command line, or we can go to Run, and we can type CMD for Command and hit Return, or click on the OK button. And we're now into a standard Windows shell. So we can type Perl, P-E-R-L, minus V, V for version. And indeed, we get shown that this is Perl 5, 12, 2, for Windows 32. You now have Perl installed onto your Windows machine. Congratulations. We hope you enjoy it.